Tonight we are playing <coughs> Rummy O or Tile Rummy. So if you know how to you have to know how to play Rummy for this game. So you need to understand the difference between a set and a run. So make sure that your whoever you're playing with has that basic understanding. So it comes with four stands, and then these two, each stand has, these two little things gets poked in the back. And makes your own little stand. I think Mom and Hudson set theirs up backwards here. Just straight up. All right, there we go. Oh, no. All right, so what you want to do, there are jokers in the game. So they can be used, doesn't matter their color, they can be used for absolutely anything. And each player starts with 14 tiles. So, these are quite loud tiles, so it might get loud here. Everybody just grabs their 14. Once everybody has their 14 tiles, and everybody plays it a little bit differently, you can choose one tile at a time, you can choose all 14. Go for it, grab your tiles and go. Some people I know even have a bag. This one didn't come with a bag. We didn't bother putting a bag in it. Uh, it's not a game that we play often, but it's a fun one to pull out every once in a while. So, Ryder and I are going to make a little stack over here of upside down tiles so that we can share. And then, God we will make a stack that they can share. This just keeps noise level down and then you don't have to be reaching around the table and if you run out you run out take from the other player okay the rules of the game do state that you cannot lay down your first set or run unless it's equal to 30 points now, when you're playing with young ones, our kids aren't as young anymore, but when you're playing with kids, and if you, we're not competitive players at all, we just, we start with whatever we want. If we want to place three threes, and that's what we're going to do. Gets the game started a little bit quicker, and we still follow the rule though, however, you cannot build onto anybody else's until you've laid down your own. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. And I'm going to lay down a set of twos. And you don't pick up after you place it. The only time you pick up is if you can't play. Ryder, can you play? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryder's playing. What's he doing here? A set of ones. Okay, Lily? Okay, so Lily's playing a run. A yellow run. So if you notice, Dad moved this one here. It was, Lily had put it like that. He moved it like this. I guess it's a per personal preference to have the, <laughs> the sets going one way and your uh, runs going the other way. I've never played like that, so that's, I had no idea. But apparently he's taught the kids that way too because they agree with him, so. Oh, Ryder's on my side, he says, okay. All right, Dad, your right, turn. With my power move. Yes, power move. Boom, boom, boom. What's that have to? 48. I should get bonus marks. Oh yeah, I guess you should, we should be keeping score, but 
Like I said, we're not competitive players, so we kind of go with the first person out wins the game. We don't really keep score. All right, so let's see here. All right, now, a set and a run have to have at least three. I can steal this 12, and that set is still legal. So I am going to steal this 12, but I have to use it right away. And here we go. I have created now a run of four, a yellow run of four. All right, Ryder, can you play? I don't think you're allowed to do this, but I can't, I can't do this, right? No. Okay. So, do it. Go ahead. Okay, now. Writer was unsure, so I told him, well, go ahead, because maybe other people don't know. So two reds cannot go in the same set. It can only be one of each color. So that set is only missing a yellow. Okay, Lily, can you play? Okay, so she's stealing my 10 to make a set of 10. So remember, you can do that but you have to make sure you use it on that turn. And still use, leave the set. Yeah, and make sure there's still a set or a run of three left. Okay, Dad, your turn. He's just adding a 10 on. So that set is complete, but you can still take. You can still take, it's not like it's closed forever. Um. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. So I can't go. So I will pick up one tile and add it to my collection. Okay, Ryder, your turn. Can you go, Ryder? No, I can. I can. You can? Okay, he's adding on. Okay, Lily, can you go? Well, that was my spot. Thank you very much. Okay, Dad? Okay, I'm drawing. Cool. Okay, Dad took a draw. And I think I might have to as well. And as well, when you only have three or less tiles, you have to give the rest of the players a heads up by saying three or less. Then people know that you're almost out and that they need to start getting rid of their tiles quicker. So we're gonna just speed up play here a little bit and we will, are you drawing a tile or are you playing? We're gonna speed up play. Let's see who wins. Okay, so dad is going to use, well, Lily used a joker right there by dad's hand. Dad is going to replace the joker. So what you can do is you can replace the joker with the number that belongs. Now dad has to use that joker on this turn, okay? He would not have been able to replace that had he not been able to use it. And even if it means just placing it on one of the other runs or sets, that's totally okay. But, I'm but use it for this. I'm not sure somebody else. Will he's use it making a first person with a red three gets a joke. So that not, would be not me. Not done yet. Not done yet. Hey, hey, hey. Not, not okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, now you're done. Okay. Oh, yeah. just... No. Yes, done. Oh, right, Dad's done. So, Mom's gonna do the same. The Joker was put there. There we go. And I'm going to place like that. Oh, that could be two different colors. Could be a red and or a yellow. I'm going to. 
that's all I can do. I can't do anything else. So go ahead, Ryder. And we'll speed up, uh, but we are, I think, almost done. Oh, two tiles left, everybody. I have two tiles left. So we're almost done. As long as I can get rid of these last two tiles, game's almost over. <laughs> game. So funny backstory on this one. Uh, Dad and I used to live in Korea before the kids came along and that's actually where we learned to play this game. There wasn't, we played it with friends and there we had some Canadian friends, we had some American friends, but we also had some Korean friends and it was a game that didn't need a lot of language to play around the table and it was something quick and that's I believe where this box is actually from we purchased it over there so this is straight from South Korea from when we lived there so it's an older game one of the originals that we have but still lots of fun to pull out and play every once in a while and it has some fun memories and that's it so keep playing and have fun